Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for another episode of What's in Your Soap Pot today. I'm going to be making a birthday soap today um, and I'm getting the inspiration for this one from Karen over at Eden's Secret where she took uh, some soap cupcakes that she had made and she placed them inside of her log mold um, and then you know obviously cut them the following day and then you had the, the full size cupcakes inside we're gonna see how that goes for me today I've never done that before and I thought that that would be fun so Karen thank you for uh, doing that video and showing everybody how to do that so I'm gonna attempt to do that today and see what happens um, so for those of you that don't know, my name is Lissa and I am the owner and soap chef here at Handmade Soap and Shampoo Company, a rather good lather. And without further ado, you guys, we're just going to get right into it today. I have all my safety equipment on. My glasses are going to go on in just a moment. Um, so again, we're going to see, there's a lot of elements that I'm going to try to incorporate today. So we're going to see how that goes. Bear with me, you guys, never done this before, so we're going to do it together. So without further ado, let's make some stuff, shall we? All right, glasses are going on. And before I even get into any of that kind of stuff, in the background, you're going to hear some piano music playing. So YouTube, if you are listening, when you go to check my video when I upload it for copyright issues, this is my son playing the piano in the background and I have his permission. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And if you guys, actually, if you guys want to check that out, um, my son and a longtime friend of his made a CD, and um, it's called The Lynn William Project. So do a search online. You can find it on Spotify, on Amazon. They have a YouTube channel here. So check it out. Really, really good stuff. But this is just my son on piano for the one song um, that I had requested him just to do the piano for me so I can have that playing in the background. It's really, really beautiful music, um, very soothing. So, all right, you guys, let's get to it. Before I do that, I'm sorry, I should have done this beforehand. Get my lye ready. I always put it off to the side after I mix everything up and um, just, just kind of put that off to the sides where it can't get spilled or knocked into or anything like that and then i usually try to give it a little bit of a stir and if there's any like little foamy type things on the top you know sometimes it happens you get like a, that um like a, almost like a film if your live solution has been sitting there for any length of time sometimes it can develop a little film so i, I sometimes i just scrape that off check my temperatures here very good everybody's playing nicely together all right, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to color my main batch white. Then I'm going to put a little bit into the mold. I'm gonna stick those whole cupcakes all the way down the mold. Then I'm gonna cover it with the rest of the batter and save some of that off. I'm going to color uh, that portion with a little bit of yellow oxide and some titanium dioxide and just a dash of a neon yellow, just to, just to give it a little bit of a pop. This is really, really strong. Okay, you guys, let's get going. Live solution into the pool. windy here today. I don't know if we were expecting to have this type of wind. It's pretty gusty out there. I think what just blew away was a couple of uh, boxes from some shipments that we got in. So we put the, the boxes out in the back uh, for crushing and recycling. had some uh, friends of mine recently, several of them actually, express their interest in learning how to make soap. So I think I need to do a little video 
on that sometime in the near future if I have the time. I'm just like, I'm in go mode right now, you guys. Like I'm, I have my first event coming up in four weeks. I'm pretty much set as far as um, restocking is, con is concerned, but I have a bunch of bath bombs I still need to make, some shower steamers, some lip butter, some lip scrubs, things like that. All right, let's get you out of there, out of the way. Let's put you off to the side. I forgot to show you guys, um, I'm going to be putting little cupcake embeds on the top as well. So I'm gonna have the whole cupcakes, which are over here. Soap cupcakes that I made. So I'm gonna put the whole cupcakes inside and then I'm going to put sprinkles on the top. I'm going to put a melt and pour drizzle on the top and then I'm going to put these cupcake embeds on the top. So there's a lot going on here today, you guys, <laughs> a lot. All right, the fragrance that I am using today um, it's a combination of Kiwi Sunsweet and Mango Lassi. So that's the combination 50-50 on both of those. Get my mold ready. All right, so let's see, how do I wanna do this? Um, I think I'm going to split off some of the batch now because I'm going to color that anyway for the frosting on the top and I'm not doing like a high top frosting. I'm just going to do a small flat um, ribbon design on the top. So I don't want to scent that. I never scent my frosting and normally I would make my frosting recipe. But for this batch, I think I'm just going to leave it go. Let's see, I'll, I'll pour out at least a pound anyways, the 16 ounces, which is what I normally do for like a drop swirl. Let's, let's go up to 20, I think. I think we're gonna do 20 ounces, you guys. Again, this is gonna be for the frosting part. I'm just gonna do like a ribbon design with my piping tip. I don't even know which piping tip I'm using today, honestly. Um, well, I'll show you when we get to that point. All right, let's take that off, stick that aside. That's gonna be colored later. Let's get our scent into here. Grab a whisk. All right, our scent blend, the whole thing. Well, actually, first, let me do the, um, I'm so discombobulated today. The reason why this is so loud, you guys, in my bottles is because I have stainless steel ball bearings inside of each one of my squeezy bottles. And that actually helps with mixing everything up on the inside of the bottle. All right, so I'm gonna put two tablespoons of titanium di dioxide in here because I really want this base to remain as white as can be. This is thickening up nicely. That's because I'm soaping really cool today. All right, let's give this a mix with the titanium dioxide in here now. All right, now we're going to get our scent into the pool. Here we go. Hopefully this won't accelerate too much so that I have a little time to work and get these cupcakes in there and then get them covered with the rest of the soap. Now, I don't remember, if I'm being honest, I don't remember if Karen, if she poured a little bit in the bottom of her mold and then let it set up pretty firmly and then put her cupcakes in. I don't remember, to be honest. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for that. Okay, give it a little shake. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to wait, you know, that much because then the rest of the batter is going to set up. So, clean up our edges while we're waiting. All right, let's at least get our cupcakes ready. We're gonna see how this goes. Never did this before. I made uh, a soap the other day, a beer and egg soap the other day, and um, 
the egg on the top with, with the yolk and, and the whole nine, the cracked black pepper. I got that inspiration from another soaper. Um, I mentioned everything in that video. I think it's important if you guys gain your inspiration from somebody else, it's important to give that person credit um, rather than blatantly copying something that they did, you know, and, and not even acknowledging. So I, I like to always do that. So once again, this is Karen from Eden Secret and she did this technique, I don't even know how long ago. So we're gonna try that again today. Now it's sitting up pretty well. This is sitting up really well. All right, so I'm gonna, it's probably going to sink if I'm being completely honest. It's probably gonna sink. This is, to me, this is not set up near enough to suspend these, but I kinda have to keep moving because this, the main batch here, is setting up. So I'm just gonna place these right down in here. I'll place one on each end so that way I can judge how far apart I need to put these. All right, they're pretty, pretty much gonna be like kind of touching, really. I mean, it's being suspended somewhat, so that's good. All right, let's get rid of these wrappers. Those are dirty, those are going in the trash. And now we're gonna try the best we can. Here, let's actually give this a little bit of a stir. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see how gloppy this is, you guys? Woo, glop a glop. All right, we may have trouble with this, not sure. Let's just go for it. Yeah, wow, I don't, I don't see how this is really going to work if I'm being completely honest here. Not with this fragrance. This just set up way too much. Wow, yeah, let me um, just tap this down, you guys. Okay, let's try to get the rest of this out. Yeah, this particular fragrance just set up really, really quickly. Um, sometimes that happens, especially when you're combining fragrances, you know, which I did here. This is the Mango Lassie and the, the Kiwi Sun Suite. get this in here best I can. I'm going to have to smash this down on the floor again. I told you that this was ambitious, you guys. Listen, if it comes out, that's fantastic. This is not something that I have in my regular line. This is just a special soap I, I felt like I, I wanted to do and try this technique that Karen did. And see, I can see, let me see if I can push that down before I make even more of a mess. No, that's not going down. Okay. Note to self. Next time I, I want to make this, if I do make this again, um, I will definitely use the entire amount of my batch to go into the regular mold. I thought that by taking some of this out, that would be the proper thing to do because obviously you're adding weight. When you're adding in these full cupcakes, that's weight that you have just added into your, um, into your log. All right, let's just try to clean up this edge. Now, let's see what's happening over here with, with Mr. Thicky, which is fine because I'm, I'm gonna be piping this, so that's actually kind of good. So let's just put him off to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in this neon yellow, just, just a little dash of it and get rid of that. P.S., a little goes a long way with that stuff and don't try to get it anywhere. I actually had to wash my hands with my gloves on just from trying to measure that because it was that icky. All right, let's, uh, what are we doing here? Let's do, um, cause I want it to be yellow on the top. So, but I'm using a yellow oxide, which tends to be really mustardy colored. So I'm going to just do one teaspoon of the yellow oxide. Again, same thing as far as the noise is concerned. I've got the steel, stainless steel ball bearings 
in here to help mix, mix things up. All right, so I'm just going to put one teaspoon of the yellow oxide and I'm gonna put a teaspoon of the titanium dioxide because I really don't want it to be a mustard yellow. That does not scream birthday to me. Let me grab actually a skinnier whisk. Uh, that one will work. All right. Stir, stir, stir. that into our piping bag here and let's just see let me take this out of here even though I should have prepared beforehand and let you guys know which tip I'm using what do we got here I can take actually I can take my goggles off now because I'm out of the splash zone of lie so what am I using today I am using a Wilton number two and I'm just going to be doing a ribbon that's all. So this is typically used to, to make flower petals. There we go. Right into the piping bag. And I can already tell right now there's no way that this is ready to be piped. So isn't that interesting? The stuff that's already in the mold right now is so thick. I could pipe that, no problem. Same batch. That's what happens with additives, you know, fragrances, colorants. All right, so we're just gonna leave that off to the side. And we have to wait for this to thicken up because we can't pipe it the way that it is right now. So I'm actually going to um, pause the video and then we're gonna come back to this once this is thick enough to be piped, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. So this is set up, I think, enough that I can go ahead and try to pipe this. I mean, to me, it's still a little bit too liquid. Again, though, this is not my um, frosting recipe that I use. This is just part of the main batch. Let's go ahead and see if this is gonna leak out or not. No, that should be okay. All right, let's twist this end here. All right. All right, I'm just gonna do a ribbon going back and forth, you guys, and we'll see how that works out. I'm putting the um, fat end of my tip, the big wide end of my tip, I'm putting that down as if I was going to be making um, some flower petals. All right, here goes nothing. Give it a little bit of a twist here and get some of the soap going down. I'm going to have to fill the bag back up, which is fine. when you start frosting that looks a little wonky <laughs> so I'll have to go back and fill in some of that honest you guys I'm not loving this design at all I 
think that this is just, it's not giving me the wavy, swirly, lacy, ruffly look that I was imagining in my head. And I don't know if that's because this is just too loose. With my frosting recipe, this would have been perfect pipeable consistency, but I'm not, I'm not loving this. I don't mind saying, but you know what? We're gonna decorate anyway. The top, we're gonna put sprinkles and we're gonna do a little bit of a drizzle with some melt and pour. So maybe it'll cover up the ugliness. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> we'll see. It's just not, um, I don't know. It's not what I envisioned in my head. That's all right. This is really just for fun. This Again, this is not part of my regular line at all. This is just something, it's a weird kind of a day here with the weather and I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty much kind of caught up on doing my restocking of all my regular scents. I think I've got like two more that I need to just restock and then that's it, I'll be, I'll be done with that. So I figured, you know what, let me, let me try something new and different that I haven't done before. And I was trying to think of uh, things. And then I had remembered Karen's video when she stuck the whole cupcakes in there. I said, listen, I just happen to have some cupcakes that I'm, I'm just not thrilled with the look of them. Um, so I'll use those because who cares if they get cut, cut into the batch, you know what I mean? So this is just for fun today, you guys. If it comes out, it does, and if it doesn't, no big deal, oh well. All right, let's give this another go. Let me wipe off my tip here. All right. This just uh, does not look pretty, does it? I should have done something completely different. This just, it's not screaming birthday to me. <laughs> oh, you guys, I don't even know. Some days I just amuse myself. <laughs> was a 10 second burst and then a seven second burst and that melted this enough. Perfect. All right, let's get our handy dandy pipette. We'll suck some of that up and we'll just do a drizzle. And if it gets on your wooden log mold, that's all right, we can clean it later. We're not gonna be too, too worried about the mess that we're making. Things can be cleaned up. And I am being pretty messy, you know, as far as just going back and forth here. I'm just letting it go, whatever, whatever it wants to do. I'm okay with it. All right, that's good enough. That's quite a bit actually. So we're gonna toss this pipette. All right, next, we're gonna put on a bunch of sprinkles. I wanna say that I got these from Jazzy Bathing on Etsy, I, I wanna say. I, I think that's where I got those. All right, so let's just give a liberal sprinkle of these. And the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and put on those little embed cupcakes. Again, I'm being pretty liberal with this. I normally wouldn't put this many on a regular soap, but because I'm calling this birthday, I really want it to be festive and I want it to pop. I want those colors to be there. All right, good enough. Get all that off to the side. 
And I haven't had a chance yet to score, not score, to um, mark where my end beds are supposed to go. So I, I, at this, I'm just gonna have to wing it. Because I haven't had an opportunity to do that yet. So we're just gonna put them like right next to each other. Because these are about, I wanna say, about mm, maybe an inch in width. And my soap cutter cuts my soap bars individually at an inch and a quarter. So it should be okay. And I'm just trying to place them, you know, so that they don't all look the same going down the row, you know, not, you know. festive on the top. We'll see tomorrow when we go to cut this. I hope it's going to come out nice like Karen's did, you know? Like you could definitely see when she cut her loaf that the inside, you could see those cupcakes plain as day. You, you knew what they were. It was very distinguishable. There was no guesswork. Oh, I wonder what that is. You could tell right away what that was. So I'm hoping to have the same experience tomorrow when I cut into this. And because I didn't score, I keep saying score, I don't know why I keep saying that. Because I didn't mark on my new mold that my husband made me. Um, I, some of these may get cut tomorrow, I'm not sure. I'm trying to place them like right next to each other because it, it should really just, you know, just have enough. My um, cutter will cut 15 bars. Well, I mean my log, I should say. My log will cut 15 bars. might have placed these way too close I think all right well that's okay so on the end I'll just like a couple of these that that really won't get the cupcake um, I'll just use those for samples yeah so it looks like I could have put two more in here but not really, because if I had done what I was supposed to do beforehand and marked my log mold, I would have known exactly where to place my embeds. But um, it is what it is, you guys. I'm gonna embrace it. I'm going to go ahead and give this a spritz of alcohol on the top just to set everything in and to help prevent some soda ash from forming later. See, so now it doesn't really look as bad with that frosting. I'm, I'm still not happy with it, but it doesn't look terrible now that I've got everything else on here. All right, so here it is, you guys. This is my birthday soap. All right, you guys, that's it. That's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for stopping by today and joining me. And until we meet again, be well, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.